from the University of California at Davis. This is News Watch. This black crowned heron found entangled in fishing line and dangling from a power pole in Yolo County was rescued and brought here to the International Bird Rescue Research Center in Fairfield for surgery. The bird was unable to fly because his feathers were damaged. The right wing um, has been damaged and um, you can see that the flight feathers are cut off about halfway um, down and you can see um, how damaged the quills are. So a UC Davis wildlife doctor performed a surgery called imping, which takes the quill of transplanted feathers from a donor bird and glues them into the quill of the damaged bird's wings. If you look at the feather itself, there's a curve to it. And so um, if you don't get the position of, um, of where the feather goes into the um, quill on the bird's side, it might be angled improperly. And if it's angled improperly, then it'll be more difficult for the bird to fly um, straight. With the new feathers in place, the bird is transported to a recovery room. Those implanted feathers will just molt as though the feathers had always been there and belonged to the bird to begin with. The surgery was so successful that wildlife veterinarians released the bird ahead of schedule. He's not going to be migrating or doing anything that involves a lot of physical activity, so I think he'll be able to gain the condition that he needs to out in the wild. After the heron stayed perched in a tree for some time, he finally flew away to what everyone here hopes will be a long and healthy life. Reporting from Fairfield, I'm Paul Fotenauer. For more information, please log on to broadcast.ucdavis.edu.